there janet fritz here for galaxy girl creations welcome to my channel welcome to another day of 30 days of sketches today's sketch was made exclusively for um 30 days of sketches by jq crafty otherwise known as jackie malzahn and i am combining it with off the board today and that is going to be my inspiration piece right there are these colors um it was a pin of uh basically just a color scheme and so i'm pulling in those colors which work perfectly with this particular layout because I am documenting um, another day at the zoo and this is at the gorilla exhibit so uh, earlier in the month I did the giraffes and now it is the gorilla's turn and so um, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and use the paper from photo play that is called I think we bought I think it's called we bought a zoo is that is it is that what it's called yeah we bought a zoo and um, they didn't have a ton of gorilla stuff in there, but uh, that's okay. I pulled what I could and I made it work. I really like the, the leaf paper there. So that is my um, paper that I wanted to kind of focus on for um, the most, I guess, pizzazz in this layout, if, if you would call it that. I went really um, kind of... Um, I don't want to say neutral. That's not the right word muted for the background so it's a kind of a muted dark green there but it's a really pretty green and it works really well with the foliage that is in the background of the gorilla exhibit and actually in the foreground so I've got a photo of the gorilla playing with the box I've got a photo of my my grandson and my son-in-law watching the gorilla and then I've got a closer up photo of the gorilla with the box and then the two upper photos are one of those signposts where you put your head and your hands in it or or your just your head in it and it says all in the family and it's got like Noah's head and then it's got all the different kinds of primates and then the other one has my daughter looking through it and so I thought those were kind of fun and I pulled out that card that says Animal House on it. I wasn't really sure if I would use it as a 3x4 card or if I would cut it up. So it's kind of just sitting there waiting for me to make a decision. I knew I wanted to use this signpost, which was also on a 3x4 card, but I knew I wanted that one cut out. So I went ahead and cut that out. I am distressing it with black soot distress ink. I am also going to distress that big circle. And then I'm going to cut a rectangle to fit in between the four photos on the right hand side and that will also be distressed so i'm just kind of playing around with where i want things um i'm not 100 percent sure at this point besides the fact that the photos are on the right in the same position as what is in the sketch and then um the gorilla photo on the left hand page is in the same position as the sketch but I knew I didn't want to cut it into a wedge so um, it is going to stay a rectangle so I am currently working on that little piece that is going to go between the two sets of photos and I am just kind of measuring to make sure I keep everything lined up nice and straight and I'm doing that uh, making sure all of every, all of that is lined up and adhered down prior to cutting the length of that paper because um, if I want to kind of spread them out a little further it's going to I'm going to have to adjust the length of the paper so I thought I better go ahead and adhere all this down before I actually measure for the length of the paper and then I will make sure I have it done correctly so um, if you watch my channel you know I don't always measure and that had that bit me earlier in the month um, on the peacock layout if you happen to watch that one so this time I'm measuring <laughs> uh, once I glue everything down I'm not measuring beforehand so I'm gonna ink that piece up I'm gonna just stick it in between there and I don't really quite know what I'm gonna do with it at this point but um, I like the way that it looks and I like that it brings that leaf paper over to the right hand page I wasn't really crazy about that lion paper so I wasn't worried about say saving it and I'm not super crazy about the monkey paper on the back so I wasn't crazy about saving that either um, when it comes to these types of collections I find that I am usually a b-side scrapbooker which means I like the back side of the page better than the front side and so um, that again is true in this particular case I pulled out these Dina Wakely stamps to do my title now my title is going to be Santa Barbara Zoo 
and I really liked that little flag banner that says zoo on it. So I am going to use that. It's not going to stay in that position where it's currently at, but um, I am going to use it. So this is actually, I think the first, maybe the second time I've used these stamps. I've had them for a little while and I really like them. I like that they're big and bold um, and they're really easy to cut because you don't have to fussy cut anything. It actually stamps the um, space around the, uh, the letter and leaves the letter as the negative space. So you just have to be able to cut a rectangle. That's pretty easy. So <laughs> I was like, that's a win-win in my book. So they are called Block Alphas by Dina Wakely. So I apologize if you hear a little, little rustling of the plastic, but I just wanted to grab the name of those for you while I can, um, or while it's handy. I will also put the links down below to the uh, products that I am using, and that's going to give you my little um, paid promotion spiel. I am required to tell you that if you use some of those links, they are affiliate links, and I will get a little bit of commission back on them. And that is also why there is a paid, possibly a paid promotion flag on my, um, on my video. So I don't get paid for the videos and I would never tell you to go and buy anything that I don't use myself. Um, in fact, I'm not telling you to go buy anything at all, but if that, if, uh, these products are things that you are interested in, the links are down below for you. So, um, I am stamping those in Catherine Pooler ink in eucalyptus. Yep, eucalyptus. I remembered this time. Hooray. <laughs> so here I go. I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of those apart. And that make, makes for pretty quick work because, um, like I said, it's a rectangle. And so the title is Santa Barbara Zoo. So lots of R's, lots of A's. And um, I am going to pop those up onto some foam tape as well. I am inking everything again in black soot distre dr distress ink just to get them to pop off that page a bit because that leaf paper is really um, busy. I was going to say bold. It's, it's kind of bold, but not as bold as it could be, but it's super busy. So I wanted to make sure that they would pop off the page and give them a little bit more dimension and a little bit more um, differentiation from the background. So I'm pretty happy with the way that they look. And I'm just working on the placement there. I think I'm going to center them a little bit more. And this is when I kind of figure out, okay, where am I going to put the word zoo? I actually do want it kind of below the words Santa Barbara. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and use some of this foam tape, which I don't have much of. Um, I'm trying to use it up so I can purchase a new roll. If you had been watching my channel, you would know that uh, my um, some of my previous ones I've been using this foam tape because I forgot my regular foam when I went to a retreat and so I had this in my bag and this is it's usually always in my caddy and so I was using that and I found I was getting so low while I was at the retreat it was time to buy more but um, I don't want to keep this little bit floating around so I'm trying to use this bit up and replace the roll and stick it in my bag for occasions when I forget my foam uh, sheets which is what I pulled out right now. So those foam sheets are just from Walmart. They're adhesive on one side. And um, I just use liquid glue. I use Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to go ahead and uh, adhere it down to my page. And it works great. It is also great for creating your own um, faux thickers, which I do frequently on my channel. So that's why I tend to buy a lot of the foam, the, um, foam sheets is because I use it to die cut which is much easier than trying to die cut the the strips of 3M tape that I was using for backing those uh, the title pieces. So that piece that says adventures on it, I think that is, oh, I'm just showing you the um, stamp set that I used. The piece that says adventures and that green label, those I believe are from um, a Paige Evans collection and it was one that had a lot of tags on it. I want to say it's from Wonders, but I could be wrong on that. And it happened to be just sitting on my desk and I was like, oh, that's the right green. Let me just pull that up. And I thought that was kind of cool because it works really well with this layout. So I inked that up on with some black ink, popped it up onto some foam, popped that gorilla head up onto some foam. I did fussy cut out the gorilla from the three by four card, as you see down below. Um, I didn't make you watch all of that. There was a snippet in there if, in case you caught that. Um, 
and I'm really liking the way that that looks down at the in the uh, bottom left hand corner of the right hand page <laughs> so that's making me happy I'm not super thrilled with all of that I'm going to call it white space it's green but all of that space in between the big circle and everything that's on the right hand page it looks like there's like just so much space so I know I want to do something there but I don't know what and it takes me quite a while to figure that out in fact it takes me several days um, so yeah sometimes it just happens that way I do finally figure it out but not until many days later and I am happy to say that I'm much happier with it as it is I actually almost left it and uh, thought well geez I'm just gonna have to like get over myself and be happy with it but I'm one of those people that it doesn't go in the album until I'm completely happy um, it doesn't have to be my favorite layout but I do have to be happy with it and um, and I'll just keep coming back to it over time uh, so I'm happy to say that it's all done and it can actually go in a layout now uh, as soon as my daughter gets a chance to do some journaling on it uh, she does all of the journey journaling on Noah's layouts. Well, not all of it. She does a lot of the journaling on Noah's layouts because oftentimes I am not at these things. And so I don't have anything to really say or write down that um, is of any um, importance about the day. So I leave the journaling spaces open for her. Uh, if you noticed, I hadn't glued that bottom piece of that signpost down. It was because I wanted to tuck those leaves under. Those leaves are popped up onto some foam tape on the top edges. The bottom edges are flush to the paper so that they can have some dimension, but um, also be adhered down to the, underneath that signpost. And then I'm going to try and figure out where I want this gorilla and if he needs to be on any foam or not. So I don't think he's on foam. But I'm really liking the way it looks. I also like that the top uh, piece of the signpost says Gorilla Gang. So um, I think that's really cute. I didn't have to worry about whether or not I was covering up the part that actually says Gorilla on it when I was placing these leaves or placing the little Gorilla guy. So that makes me pretty happy. While I place a couple of these leaves, I'll remind you this is a hop for 30 days of sketches and for off the board. So there will be two lists down below for you to go and get inspiration. Um, you can get lots of inspiration with regard to this particular sketch, but uh, there will also be people who may not be playing along with 30 days of sketches that are doing uh, off the board. And that is where we take our Pinterest pins and we use inspiration from one of our pins to create a layout. In this case, I went with a color scheme because I already had a sketch and I don't usually always, I don't usually use uh, scrapbooking related pins for mine. I try not to because I find it makes me think outside the box a little bit more and I try to translate whatever I choose into a scrapbook page. But in this particular case, I just went simple with color so that I would have, um, I would be able to still play along with uh, 30 days of sketches because I, I wanted to make sure that I used the sketch and completed all 30 days. So I just added some brown enamel dots from Gina Marie Designs and I'm really happy with those. Um, I, you get a lot for your money and so that is where I usually buy all of my enamel dots unless they come in a kit or something. So while I'm trying to figure out what this needs, I did go and ask a friend, thank you MK, for a little... Um, help here what on earth is this missing so she suggested some sketchy lines and so that is what I did and I felt like it it really helps the layout but it didn't it still didn't finish it to my liking so um I did these sketchy lines and then I came back a few days later and uh was like okay what else does this thing need because it still needs something I I'm not opposed to leaving a lot of blank space on a layout but it just felt like the gap was too big for me and I might have been able to um, not have that issue if I had maybe cut that circle bigger. I don't know if that's what was causing the problem. Um, the circle was somewhat in, in proportion to what the sketch has on it, but that big green spot right in the middle is just killing me. So I came back and I thought, you know what? I didn't really leave any place for my daughter to journal on here except for on that little 
um, label. So let's put a journaling block in. And I know that seems kind of plain, but I am going to dress it up just a bit. Um, I chose when I did the leaves down below by the gorilla guy I chose not to use any of the blue leaves because the patterned paper doesn't have any blue in it but I only have one more green leaf so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the blue leaves I'm gonna swap one out down below and I'm going to bring in a brown leaf from down below the one remaining green leaf that I have and a blue leaf to this journaling spot to kind of make it all match um, there are no brown ones left either. I only had two blue and a green. So now I've used all the leaves and I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. I'm just going to pop the tips of those leaves up once again and adhere the, uh, the top portion or yeah, the base of the leaves down to the page and that finishes it off. Um, I'm really happy with how that turned out. The blue leaves don't bother me. There are blue tones in those upper two photos and in the um, right-hand picture with my son-in-law and Noah in it. So it matches really well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, as always, leave those, leave those down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along. And if you are enjoying this series and have enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I really do appreciate the time that you guys take to watch my videos. And um, I will respond to every single one of those comments. Bye-bye.